Hey, 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 good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen to sit there and see what we all have cooking. Well, grab a hold of that vine and swing right on to my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Well, I'm going to sit there and take a number 10 can and I'm going to recan it and I'm going to can myself up some steakhouse mushrooms. So be sure to grab a hold of that vine, swing right on to my kitchen. And let's get canning. Good looking. Hey there, good looking. I'm so glad that you came to my kitchen today because I'm grabbing my balls and I'm going to sit there and fill them up with some deliciousness for my sons and my husband because they're mushroom lovers and because it was a holiday and I had to open up my number 10 can of mushrooms and I have some leftover mushrooms and I'm not going to let them go to waste. So I figured this would be a great time to bring you along to show you one of the ways that I recan number 10 cans of canned mushrooms and this is the pieces and stems. So let's go ahead and jump right on into one of the recipes that I use to recan those number 10 cans of mushrooms. Now, I already showed you how to sit there and can up some mushroom jam with the number 10 can. Now, I'm going to sit there and show you how I can up some steakhouse mushrooms. I have four cups of mushrooms here. Go ahead, dump them all down inside. And I'm using my Fresh Tech Jam and Jelly Maker, or as some of you know, Fabio. Now y'all know how much I do love Fabio. And my love affair is still going strong with him. So I'm going to sit there and continue my love affair with Fabio. So I'm going to sit there and put, besides the four cups of mushrooms, you're going to need two cups of water. Two tablespoons oil. You're going to need two teaspoons of the better than bouillon roasted beef base. So let's add the better than bouillon. One and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce or what some of you might call, what's this here sauce? Yeah. Half a teaspoon onion powder. Half a teaspoon black pepper. Half a teaspoon onion powder. Half a teaspoon of thyme. Now that we have all of our ingredients in our jam and jelly maker, we're going to come down here. We're going to do a jam session. We're going to come over here to the plus sign. We're going to increase it to read 30. Then we're going to push enter. Now let the jam and jelly maker do its little magic and let it jam on. <laughs> The jam and jelly maker just sounded off. Here's a quick look of what it looks like. Now we're going to allow the jam and jelly maker go to go through the cool off period that it needs to go through. And then we're going to do another jam session at 30 minutes. And we're going to sit there and basically cook down all of these liquids and let them absorb back up 
into the mushrooms. Then we're going to sit there and can them all up. So I'm going to allow my jam and jelly maker to go through the cool off period. Okay, the jam and jelly maker just cooled off. Now I'm going to push the jam button. I'm going to come up here and increase the time to 30 minutes. Push enter. And basically, we're going to sit there and cook all the sauce down into a condensed form where it's all encased around these luscious steakhouse mushrooms. And then we're going to sit there and put them into a canning jar and then we're going to can them up. The jam and jelly maker just sounded off. Now look at how gorgeous them turned out. They're all nicely browned up. They got their tan on. Now they're ready to come to the game and bring on the party to all your grill out events. Now, put a good helping on top of a steak with these bad boys. And oh yeah, I think you're going to have a good, happy partner. Now, I also like using these up during the grilling season in a special recipe. And I'm going to be bringing you along and showing you that recipe. Now, as you see, that's how easy it is to can up one delicious recipe, recanning a number 10 can of mushroom pieces and stems. So, please be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And now, let's can these bad boys up. I need to grab some balls. Okay, ladies, let's put them balls to the wall and let's get a whole bunch canned up the season because we have a pantry to stock. Now I have my canning ladle. I'm going to sit there and grab a good ladle full. I'm going to grab a little bit more. We're going to grab our deep bubbler and we're going to go in and kind of help push the rest of these down on in and take out any big air bubbles or air traps that might be inside of the jar. Now, if you weren't around when I sat there and showed you how to make the mushroom jam out of recanning the number 10 can of mushroom pieces and stems well I took my debubbler and we just went down and debubbled the jar and I want you to do the same We're going to grab a little bit more, and you're going to want a half inch head space. Yeah, that looks like it's the perfect amount. Now, go ahead. We're going to remove uh, the canning funnel, and we're going to wipe the rims of our canning jars up. Take your paper towing that you dipped into vinegar right around the top of your rims and now we're going to sit there and grab okay I have some paper towing that I dipped into vinegar now we're just going to come along and run it along the top of the canning jars right here that way we're ensuring a proper seal every time. Now I have 
my canning lid and my canning ring. We're going to sit there and finger tighten. And I'm going to sit there and mark what's inside of my jar before I put it in my pressure canner. Because we're going to sit there and pressure can these up for 45 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. So I labeled my jar and I'm just going to sit there and bring you in for a close up view. Look at them steakhouse mushrooms. Oh my goodness. Grilling season just got so much easier. Hi ho, hi ho. Off to the pressure canner these go. Can these at 45 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure and voila you just canned up yourself some excellent steakhouse mushrooms now be sure to share like and subscribe and if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel if you're not yet a subscriber go up hit that subscribe button tap that little bell that way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video and as always here's the happy canning but better yet happy eatings y'all come back now you hear